Hello everyone, once again welcome back to Simple Ways. Today, in this very session, we are going to learn about the human disease. The human disease are caused by various kinds of agents. Some of the diseases are caused by the viruses, some of the diseases are caused by bacteria, then protozoa and parasites. And some of the diseases are also caused because of lack of vitamins. In recent times, if we observe, there are plenty of questions from this section. It might be, uh, it might be in the state level examinations, in the central level examinations, you'll find a lot of questions from this section. So it become one of the very crucial topic or crucial section, which we are not supposed to skip this section. I assure you, after completing this session, you won't feel uh, regret because I believe that you will gain something after uh, going through with me in this session. So, please have patience and kindly cooperate in this session. Here are a few questions which I have took from APSSB, okay? APSSB, which is Arunachal Pradesh Staff Selection Board Examination, okay? From there, I have taken three questions, or there are many questions, but these are a few examples. It's like how the questions are coming from this section. Okay, here, prioria is a disease of the gums, heart, lungs, or nose. The prioria is a disease caused in the gums. It's a one kind of disease which is caused because of bacteria. Okay, because of bacteria. If the plague, which become intense or advanced, it will start attacking the gums and it might also affect or injure the mouth, the jaw portion, okay? So, this is one of the very, you can say, a severe disease if we don't care in the early stage. Peoria, it causes in the gums, okay? Here in next question, which of the following vitamins is also called as ascorbic acid? Okay, here vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin K. The ascorbic acid is a chemical name of vitamin C, okay? Vitamin C, it's also called as ascorbic acid, which is a chemical name. And we find this acid or vitamin C in uh, lemon, orange, okay? Uh, some sour substance where we will find vitamin C. And then, which of the following is not a vaccine for COVID-19 disease? Here, in this question, is talking about the COVID-19 disease. As we might be aware that COVID-19, which have destroyed uh, or which have brought a lot of obstacle during 2020, 19, and 21. In these three years, uh, millions of people have died because of, because of COVID-19, okay? It was caused because of virus, okay? This uh, uh, disease was caused because of virus. And here in this question, what it is asking that not a vaccine for COVID-19 here, Nova Zovic, Covovex, Moderna, none of the above. Here, no the vaccine. The answer is none of the above. Because A in the option A, Nova Zovic. Okay, Nova Zovic is a COVID vaccine made by European Union. Okay. And Covovex. Covovex is a medicine uh, which is made in India, Serum Institute of India. Okay, Serum Institute of India, they have met Covovex. And the Moderna, Moderna is also one of the COVID-19 vaccine which has been met by, which has been met by US, okay, US company. And then the answer will be none of the above. These are the few examples how the questions will come from the uh, uh, human disease section okay here let's see the disease caused by the viruses okay here disease caused by the viruses let me change the color this should be better okay mm. disease caused by the virus here the name of disease 
the name of virus and affected organs this is these are the important uh, you can say uh, important portions or you can say important uh, names which might come in examinations okay because these are the few common mm, diseases which is caused by the viruses and it will certainly come in examinations so here i have about few 13 uh, disease which is caused by the viruses here in number one hiv or aids okay hiv or aids uh, the full form is human immunodeficiency virus hiv okay this is the name of virus itself okay the disease aids or hiv is caused by human immunodeficiency viruses and it affects uh, the defensive system uh, lymphocyte lymphocyte means one type of uh, white blood cell okay so it generally attacked the immune system of our organ immune system of our organ that means that the virus the hiv virus it will attack our defensive system of human organ okay it will slowly weaken uh, uh, weaken the human immune system and uh, it will slowly consume the the living life of human being in number two dengue okay this is one of the very popular disease it is caused because of aedes mosquito is one kind of viruses okay aedes mosquito and it attack the whole body in number three influenza influenza is caused because of influenza v virus there will be a b c something like that viruses will be there okay so influenza it is caused because of virus you have to remember this only virus and st in initial stage it attack the nose throat then lungs okay influenza and then number four is chicken pox okay these days i don't think so the many of a uh, few countries only like in uh african nations i believe they are battling the chicken pox or small pox but many countries they have already tackled the chicken pox and small pox even though part of uh, from the point of examination uh, let's learn it is caused because of the virus that is varicella joster viruses okay and it attacks the whole body in the case of small pox also small pox also variola viruses okay variola viruses it causes the whole body the muscles is also part of uh, this is also kind of as pox only uh, it is caused because of the morbili virus okay this morbili virus and it detect the whole body okay it detect the whole body number seven hepatitis and jaundice hepatitis and jaundice hepatitis and jaundice is caused because of hepatitis virus an affected organ is liver. Affected organs is the liver. Join this or hepatitis, they attack the liver. Actually, how they cause is because of the pancreas bile juice level. Okay. Number eight is polio. The polio was caused because of the polio virus. And in initial stage, the polio viruses attack the throat, then intestine, then slowly. It attack the brain, the spinal cord, and the people will turn into paralysis. Okay, so if you remember when we are child, we used to have certain doses of polio. Okay, it is to tackle the polio viruses. And then in number nine, rabies. Rabies is caused because of rabies virus, uh, and rabies virus is actually. Uh, a carrier will be a dog okay that uh, in the saliva of dog or in whenever the dog will bite you okay that rabies uh, virus there are a lot of chances that the virus will enter the human body if the dog bite you if it is better to stay away from the dog like uh, some people they might be licking the dog saliva right because in the saliva also the rabies viruses are there so it's better that dog should be injected or should be medicined properly in order to avoid such viruses okay
it will take the nervous system okay and people will start uh fearing from the water okay some kind of symptoms will be there because of attacking the nervous system in number 10 meningitis meningitis is also one kind of disease which is caused because of virus it attack the brain and spinal cord okay and then in number 11 herbs 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 is caused because of virus the virus name is herb simplex virus okay hsv and it attack the skin okay and then in number 12 mums okay mums is also viral infection it goes in a salivary gland okay salivary gland the mums effect and then in number 13 covid 19 uh, it is caused because of virus the virus name is sarco jet virus okay sarco jet virus it attack the respiratory system and later on it will at start attacking the whole body but in the initial stage it will attack the respiratory system and these are these are the few uh disease which have been recently or most of the time we see have seen in examinations because of viruses here here some of the disease which are caused because of bacteria here in this in this row we will learn the disease name here the name of bacteria and then affected organs okay the first titanus titanus is caused because of the clostridium tetani is a name of bacteria and it detects the nervous system okay then cholera cholera is caused because of vibrio cholerae it detects the intestine okay this cholera and typhoid they are caused because of water uh, those dirty water are supposed to drink because it attack uh, those uh, water contain uh, some kind of bacteria like the in case of typhoid salmonella typia it attack the intestine okay and then th number four is tuberculosis we call as tb right tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis this is the name of bacteria which uh, which cause the tuberculosis or tb and the affected organ is lungs okay and then number five, diphtheria. Diphtheria is caused because of cornibacterium diphtheria. Cornibacterium diphtheria and it attacks respiratory tubes. And number six, plague. Plague is caused because of pasturella pestis and it attacks the lungs. In the initial stage, the plague will attack the lungs and later on it will attack the leg, uh, the portion between the legs, okay? And then whooping cout. Whooping cout the speed uh whooping cout okay whooping cout here the name of bacteria is here okay whooping cout is because of hemophilis pertussis okay hemophilis pertussis and it attack the respiratory system and number eight pneumonia pneumonia is caused because of streptococcus pneumonia okay this is a very long name <clears throat> just you have to remember this only and it affect uh it affect the organ that is lungs and then number nine leprosy leprosy is caused because of mycobacterium leprae okay mycobacterium leprae and it attack the nervous system and the skins okay then in number 10 gonorrhea gonorrhea is kind of std okay sexual transmitted disease okay uh gonorrhea then this cypus is also sexual transmitted disease like hiv okay gonorrhea is caused because of neisseria gonorrhea it attack the urinary part and then syphilis is also uh, one kind of bacteria disease is caused by treponema pallidum and it also attack uh, urinary part and then number 12 trachoma okay trachoma it is caused because of chlamydia chlamydia is a name of bacteria and then it attack the our eyes okay 
Then in number 13, uh, prairia, okay, it's a cause of common bacteria, it causes uh, gums, okay. So, these are the few diseases which is caused because of bacteria. There are many more, you have to, uh, you have to go through some uh, relevant book or in uh, Google also, you can find look, there are plenty of digits, but this I have taken this few very important digits which have been which have been seen in few competitive examinations. Hope you have got or you have understood what I have taught you. In this page here, we will find some diseases, we will study some diseases which have been caused because of protozoa and parasites, okay? And we will also learn that some carriers are there, okay? Some carriers are there because of the disease, the particular disease is uh, affecting one people to another people, okay? Because of the carrier and we will also learn the affected organs. First, malaria. Malaria is caused because of a protozoa named Plasmodium, okay? And it attacks the red blood cell and our liver. And the carrier is called female anopels mosquito, okay? Female anopels mosquito, it carry the malaria disease from one person to another person, okay? And then in number two, prioria, we have just learned, okay, here. Yeah. Here in number 13 is cause of bacteria and it is also caused because of protozoa that is uh, entamoeba gingivalis okay in entamoeba gingivalis that's amoeba okay one kind of mm, you can say protozoa it causes the gums okay I think this will be much more relevant okay it should be much more relevant uh, from my point of view uh, because enta amoeba, amoeba is a protozoa, okay? They take the gums. Otherwise, bacteria is also okay, common bacteria is also okay. But uh, if uh, option, in option, if both uh, bacteria and enta amoeba or protozoa is given, then go for the protozoa, okay? Enta amoeba, gin given this. In number three, sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness is caused because of tripa. Okay, Trypanosoma. Trypanosoma is one kind of uh, protozoa. It attacks the brain, okay? It attacks the brain and it causes because of the carrier, okay? You can you can say the carrier is a CC flies, okay? CC flies. It's kind of parasite, I believe. Parasite. Spring sickness, okay? CC flies. It attacks the brain. And number four, diarrhea. Diarrhea is because of endamoeba histo. Lytica, okay, histolytica, enta amoeba histolytica is a kind of protozoa, it detects the intestine, okay, diarrhea. And number five is Kala Azar. Kala Azar is because of this parasite. Le what is the name of parasite? Lesmania donovani. It detects the bone marrow and uh, the carrier is ten flies. It's very important, okay, I have seen in a uh, few questions like in pre when I was analyzing a uh, question paper uh, right now I cannot recall the exact question paper but I have seen the Kala Azar okay it is caused because of protozoa okay protozoa or parasite and name of the protozoa is Lesmania donovani it attacked the bone marrow okay these are the few diseases which is caused because of protozoa here Some of the diseases are also caused because of chemical agents. Chemical agents or particular uh, dust, okay? Here, few disease names uh, caused by caused by chemical agents or cause agents or and the affected organs. The first four, these diseases are caused because of dust, okay? These four diseases are caused because of does and they are attacking the respiratory system only like entracosis okay 
Endracosis is caused because of coal dust. It detects the respiratory system. Farmer lungs. Farmer lungs is caused because of moldy hay. It also attacks the respiratory system. Do you know what is moldy hay? Moldy hay is like a grain, okay? Grains like corn. Uh, some, uh, you can say, uh, some crops are there which produce dust, okay? Like grain, corns. So these cores uh, affect the farmers, okay, especially because farmers are the person they are uh, engaged in the agriculture, right? So uh, uh, because of these grains and corns that they produce a moldy hay, they attacks the respiratory system. That's called a farmer lungs. And number three, siderosis. Siderosis is caused because of iron dust, okay? It's also a respiratory system. Silicosis. Silicosis is one kind of tuberculosis. Okay. It is caused of sand and silica dust. Sand and silica dust. It also attacks the respiratory system. Okay. From number five, Minamata. Minamata disease is because of a mercury. Okay. Because of mercury. Indirectly, like uh, in few regions like in japan and coastal areas there are people there are many people who are mining there are organization okay you can say organizations or multinational companies they are uh, mining the mercury or they are dumping the mercury in the oceans and in ocean there will be a fish okay if they are mm, dumping or mining the mercury the mercury will be in the ocean and because of that, the fish, okay, that fish, that fish will consume that mercury. And that that fish will be consumed by humans. Indirectly, okay, just imagine that this is an ocean. In the ocean, the mercury has been dumped or mined. Because of that, the content of my mercury was there in the ocean. And then that mercury was consumed by a fish, okay. And then the fish was consumed by a human and indirectly the mer human are consuming the mercury okay because of that uh, people are facing the minamata disease okay it affect the kidney and later on it also affect the nervous system in number six itai itai disease itai itai disease is caused because of the cadmium and slowly it affect uh, our bones okay the bones muscles it will weak or brittle the bones and it will slowly attack the spines and nervous system okay in number seven blue baby syndrome blue baby syndrome uh, which have been seen in infants child okay uh, baby born new baby born okay their skin will become blue in color okay that's why it's called a blue baby syndrome It's because of the content of nitrate okay it affects uh, infant child's skin blood, okay? And then, in number 8, plumbism or saturnism. Plumbum. Plumbum means what? Lead, okay? So, uh, here, plumbism or saturnism is caused because of lead. And it will attack, uh, affect the organ that is abdominal pain memory problem, infertility, etc. Okay, because of lead poisoning, these organs are affected. Especially you can see the infertility in the woman. And then in number nine, arsenical keratosis. Arsenical keratosis is one kind of disease. It is caused because of arsenic and it attacks the palm, soul, or it leads to the skin cancer. Okay, like because of the arsenic poisoning okay because of the arsenic poisoning they will be attacking the palm the palm and the soul from where you are working or from where you are holding the arsenic it will start it um, attacking the those particular portion where you are touching and it will lead to the skin cancer okay that is called arsenical keratosis okay these are few diseases which is caused because of chemicals or some dusts okay and then there are type of minerals and deficiency because of uh, deficiency of some minerals because of deficiency of some minerals uh, there are disease okay like 
type of mineral if the person just uh, imagine that human okay human if that particular human is having a lack of calcium then what will happen because of the lack of calcium uh, the bone will become brittle excessive bleeding will be there so these are few kinds of disease okay that we can call is a deficiency disease because of calcium okay so calcium portion is also required in a human body then number two phosphorus okay if the, that particular human lack a phosphorus mineral then what will happen he will have or that he or she will have a bad teeth okay and the bones will become also weak so directly or indirectly those calcium phosphorus they are attacking the bones okay so it is mandatory or necessary that uh, whatever we are consuming those consumption should have calcium and phosphorus iron iron is also one of the very important mineral which have to be consumed by humans if we lack in the consumption of iron then the disease like anemia uh, the anemia disease that because of deficiency of the iron the people are facing the anemia disease okay and then iodine iodine is also important which is contained in the salt okay if we don't consume the iodine the goiter goiter which uh, which is affecting a particular organ uh, throat okay in the throat portion the goiters will be there and last a thyroid gland okay that is saying the thyroid gland only it is con uh, it is situated in a throat so because of lack of iodine the goiters will be there and it will enlarge thyroid gland okay and then copper because of lack of copper mineral there are also some deficiency disease like low appetite retarded growth okay it's like low appetite means you won't feel hungry and your growth will be retarded okay you will not be uh, growing as per uh, particular a uh, normal you you will not be growing a normal growth okay you will be facing uh, your growth growth ratio is because of the lack of copper okay these are few minerals which have been required if you are not lagging those mineral then this deficiency disease which have to be passed by a human being and the disease caused by the deficiency of vitamin in their sources okay this is These are disease or deficiency disease caused because of lack of vitamins, okay? Lack of vitamins and their sources, okay? So, first in this row, we will see the vitamins, the name of vitamins, R to K, A to K, and the chemical names, okay? What is the, what are, what is the name of the particular chemical, okay? Then deficiency disease, what disease are caused because of lack of these vitamins, and sources. Sources means from what source this vitamin will be obtained okay so in number one vitamin a vitamin a uh, the chemical name is retinol okay vitamin a is related to the eyes okay like color blindness night blindness xerophthalmia uh, okay these are the disease of eyes vitamin a means you just have to uh, uh, remember that or by heart mug up that it is related to eyes only okay retinol so these are the sources like milk egg cheese green vegetables cold liver oil carrot okay these are the sources of vitamin a vitamin b1 vitamin b1 uh, chemical name is thiamine okay deficiency is berry berry vitamin b1 b4 berry berry okay these are the sources like groundnut, rapeseed, dry chili, pulses, liver, egg, vegetable, etc. Okay. B2. Riblofavin. Okay. Crack in the skin, reddish eyes. Okay. 
lips mouth ulcer these are because of lack of vitamin b okay these are the sources vitamin b3 vitamin b3 is called niacin or nicotinamide okay whitening of if we lack the vitamin b3 whitening of here mentally retarded dermatitis pellagra these are the deficiency disease which is caused because of lack of vitamin b3 and these are the sources vitamin b5 pento tenic acid because of lack of vitamin b5 insomnia okay insomnia burning pain irritability these are the diseases okay deficiency diseases because of lack of vitamin b5 b6 anemia skin diseases depression you see this have have you observed one thing that insomnia okay Ir uh, irritability depression whitening whitening of ear <clears throat> mental retardedness you see how the vitamin those vitamin b1 b2 b3 and b4 b5 till here till vitamin b11 okay you can say vitamin um, here till vitamin b9 you can say 1 to 12 you can say okay these vitamins they are related to some kind of depression okay depression anemia lack of iron hair falling or whitening of hair jaundice okay diarrhea some kind of very you can say common disease which have been facing by people in day to day life some kind of depression you can say these days people are facing lot of depression then cracking of screen like dryness you can say some kind of common disease which have been facing by the people in recent times which are caused because of vitamin b1 to b12 okay but specifically if you see the vitamin a is related to the eyes otherwise from b1 to b12 it is you can say common you can say okay like common disease which have been causing in day to day life you can relate that way okay like b12 is called cobbler mind okay folic acid and then b7 is called biotin b11 is called folic acid okay here yeah, it's very difficult deficiency disease you know from b1 to b12 it's very difficult to bisect them or divide them okay because there are lots of like anemia in b9 anemia is there and in b6 anemia is there okay so they are related to each other and you have to remember that way only okay or you have to understand it now in vitamin c okay this vitamin c uh, there was a question in beginning we have uh, there was a question asked what is the chemical name of vitamin c right here the chemical name of vitamin c is ascorbic acid scurvy is attacking uh, our mouth okay like scurvy uh, the swelling of gums and bleeding of gums okay is because of the ascorbic acid lack of ascorbic acid of vitamin c okay these are the sources lemon orange tomato sour substances chili sprouted grains okay in vitamin d vitamin d calciferol the chemical name is calciferol and some of the deficiency diseases are ricket okay ricket is in children okay uh, the children they will be uh, lagging strength okay their bone won't be very strong is because of the lack of vitamin d okay so uh osteomalacia ricket was in children and osteomalacia will, uh, will be a deficiency or disease that will be in adult that that will be seen in adult okay and uh, sources of this vitamin d is fish liver oil milk egg okay and you can also include sun rays okay sun rays for like 30 minutes okay vitamin d and then in vitamin e uh, tocoperol vitamin e 
chemical name is tocoperol and deficiency disease is less fertility or infertility because of vitamin E. Here are the, some sources of vitamin E and vitamin K. Vitamin K, the scientific or chemical name is pyloquinone. Okay, what is the chemical name of vitamin K? Pyloquinone and non clotting of blood. This is a deficiency disease. Okay, if you lack the vitamin K, your blood won't clot. Okay. For the clothing of blood, vitamin K is mandatory. And these are the sources like tomato, soya bean, green vegetables, alfalfa, etc. Okay. These are the sources and the vitamins, the chemical names, and deficiency disease. Okay. So here we have seen the vitamin from A, B, C, D, E, and K. Okay. From where the sources we are getting. What are the chemical names and what are the deficiencies, diseases because of lack of those vitamins, okay? So this was the session. I hope you have understood. If you don't understand or you couldn't understand anything, any doubtful, then you can ask me freely on the comment. I'll be there to reply to you. And then thank you so much for watching and bearing with me. Uh, keep watching and keep supporting simple ways see you till then in next video thank you so much